Cowboys Nation, my fellow Dallas Cowboys fans, you know, we're talking about, you know, not, not everything is sunshine and rainbows in Big D, you know, I mean, we've had some, 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 some negative news, some negative things come out of, uh, during the off season, this season, things like that, and um, right now we're talking about suspensions, you know, we uh, talk, we know about Randy Gregory, but most of you guys have probably heard the recent news about our middle linebacker, Rolando McClain, uh, he's facing a, uh, a one-year suspension. He was already coming to the season. He was already suspended the first 10 games. Not 10 weeks, 10 games. Uh, this is week 11, but we just played our 10th game you know, because we had the bye week. Uh, he was suspended for, I believe, opiates, which is uh, basically like a derivative of the poppy plant. Uh, we've all heard of opium, things like I mean, narcotic opium, but um, most people use it because they need aid to go to sleep, so they use opiates, but most people use it for pain. Uh, there's not a lot of detail about, you know, the use. They, they, they kind of keep that stuff in-house, the NFL. But um, he was suspended 10 games for that. I mean, this stuff is public knowledge. Still, you know, the CBA between the NFL and the NFL PA, banned substance list, things like that. So you, you just look those things up. But um, just the question is, you know, what's his future here in Dallas? Uh, speaking of Rolando McClain. He's facing another year suspension, kind of like Randy Gregory. Well, he didn't show up for a drug test. And the NFL, they view a no-show as a failed drug test. And I definitely agree with that. You know, you got to show up. You know what I mean? So that that's basically what happened. Um, you know, he, now he's appealing the suspension. But if it's upheld, now he won't be available until November 2017. I mean, basically this time next year. Week 10, 11, 12 next year. You know what I mean? In that area, something like that. Anywhere from week 9 to 12, that's when he'll be available. So he's going to miss a significant amount of games next year, just like this year. You know, so we managed a, a 91 record without him, things like that. Uh, we're pretty good against the run. You know, he's a, he's known to stop the run, a run-stopping middle linebacker coming out of college these days in Alabama and playing in Oakland with the Raiders, things like that. After the Ravens game just past, past Sunday, Jerry Jones said that, you know, he wants Rolando McClain on the team. Um... Now, after the year suspension, I don't know, but, you know, Jerry did say he can't go in too much detail on it because if, he, you know, if the owner speaks out about player suspension, things like that, depending on what he says, he, he may imply that he knows something, and you can lose draft picks over that. And, you know, we need all our draft picks, you know what I mean? So he, he couldn't really go in detail. But um, he's saying those things now that he wants them on the team. I know last year, 2015, Rolando McClain, I think he signed a one-year, $3 million deal. This year, he signed a one-year, $5 million deal, things like that. Um, so, um, like I say, right now, Jerry is saying he wants him back once he's eligible. But with the year suspension, I, I don't know, you know. I mean, if, if we were, I mean, the pros and the cons are, if we were to bring him back, you know, Melando McClain in the middle, Sean Lee, and our second-round pick in the, just, just this year's draft, Jalen Smith, that's a, that could be the best linebacking core in the NFL. Rolando, Sean Lee, and Jalen. A lot of depends on Jalen's knee. Now, do we let Rolando McClain go? Because we have faith that Jalen Smith is going to be ready to play next year. Because I mean, he hurt his knee in his last college game in Ohio State against Zeke Elliott in Ohio State. Um, our doctors, the Cowboys and the team doctors, performed the surgery. So they, they have to know something. I think what Jerry would do is due diligence and, you know, wouldn't draft the guy who needs a career-ending injury. So I, I I believe they know what they're doing here. There's a lot of potential there. I mean, I, I like that linebacking core. Then we would have Anthony Hitch, Hitchens. He could be a, a rotational linebacker come in. That's a, say it could be the best linebacking core in the NFL, you know, potentially. With Jalen Smith's knee, things like that. I don't know. You got Ronald McCann. He's only 27. You know, so he, he's still young. Sean Lee's right at 30. I think Anthony Hitchens is like 24. Jalen Smith is like 22, 23, something like that. So they're young. Now, Hitchens, Justin Durant, and Sean Lee, they've, they've, been, they've played solid this year. So I believe we're top 10 against the run. They're playing solid this year. Now, Justin Durant, he signed a one-year deal to come back to the Cowboys this year. I think for like just under 900000 He's going to be an unrestricted free agent. You know what I mean? But he's 31 years old. You know, so do we let him go? You know, now we've got five linebackers, Jalen Smith, 
Sean Lee, Anthony Hitchens, Justin Durant, and Rolando McClain. Five. I don't expect all five of these linebackers to be to be back on the roster next year. So, you know, there's going to be decisions that have to be made here, you know. And, you know, if, I mean, I, I can see both sides wanting to do, because he's only 27, but maybe, should we just cut our losses? You know, he, he says, I mean, if the suspension is uphill, which it appears like it's going to be, do you want to re-sign a guy that, you, that won't be available until, you know, having played in basically two years or a year and a half, he's going to be in football shape, things like that. You know, he could really help out, you know what I mean, in the middle of the field, a veteran linebacker like that. The real true middle linebacker that's so far on our roster. Justin Durant's okay. I think he's more of a strong side linebacker. We try Anthony Hitchens at middle linebacker. He's not really that. He doesn't really have the athleticism to play weak side linebacker either. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I mean, but he's played okay. But, you know, because Rolando McClain is facing the suspension, you know, he doesn't really have any... Any uh any leverage when it comes to negotiating a contract, he would have to be willing to sign another uh, three years in a row, another one year deal. You know, if you were to bring him back, if we were, you know, Anthony Hitchens is still on his rookie contract, so he so he's not gonna break the bank. He'll be a free agent after next year if we decide to bring him back. Sean Lee's contract is for his talent. It's what what seven eight seven eight million something like that. That's not gonna break the bank. Justin Durant's on a one-year deal. Jalen Smith is still on his rookie contract. So, if we do decide to bring him back financially, it, it won't it won't hurt us. I just don't see us bringing all five of them back. Should we re-sign an, an, an aging Justin Durant? You know, he's not playing terrible, but he's still 31. And Rolando McClain's only 27. You know, um, he would be the older man. If Sean, Sean Lee's pushing 30, but Sean Lee's on the contract to like what 2019. Sean Lee isn't going in. He's probably going to retire your cowboy. But Hitchens and um and those I mean, Jalen, those guys are young. A lot of it, you know, it, what what's your trust level on Jalen Smith's knee? Because when healthy, Jalen Smith was in the 2016 draft, he was number one on my board as far as prospects. He was number one, and Zeke was number two. Big time talent potential. Big time for Jalen Smith. But are we trusting? Re, rather not re re sign Rolando McClain based on Jalen Smith's knee, things like that, you know what I mean? So there are questions, decisions that need to be made. Do we just cut our losses? McClain only signed a one year deal anyway. So he's basically he's a free agent at the end of the season. So you know he's not gonna hurt his cap wise, anything like cap hit, anything like that. So can we we can just let him go, maybe let Justin Durant go and just go completely young with, with Jalen Smith and Hitchens and, and Sean Lee, things like that. I would like to re-sign Durant, you know what I mean, or maybe possibly McLean, but he's going to miss some games. I want to add some depth there because, I mean, I love, I love Jalen Smith's talent and his potential. Oh, my God. But his knee is a concern. I got to be honest. His knee is a concern. Now, let me know what you guys think, man. Should we, should we, take, Orlando is only 27, the off-the-field issues, you know, uh, if we do resign him, he won't be a. Um, I, I, I can see either way, but if we do resign him, he won't be available until say this time next year. So he's going to miss about ten games, ten or eleven games, depending on the schedule. You know what I mean? How the, how the calendar lines up, things like that. But um, he's going to miss some time. Now we may need him down. So he's veteran. We could lead him down the scratch. You know what I mean? A middle, a serviceable middle linebacker. I, I think he's pretty good. You know what I mean? Especially against the run. But I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should we just let him go? Take another chance on him? Like I say, McLean, Sean Lee, and Jalen Smith, that could be the best linebacker core in the NFL, potentially. Especially with Jalen Smith. And you got Anthony Hitchens, a serviceable linebacker, can get some reps, a rotational linebacker, not serviceable. I meant rotational back. One of the guys get tired or if we suffer an injury, Hitchens isn't there. Anthony Hitchens will be right there. You know, I mean, we still got Justin Durant. You know, he's 31. He's playing. Oh, he's playing solid. You know, he's not killing us. He's not hurting us. You know, he he's playing solid. He doesn't play on third down. He doesn't have the athleticism. But and what's Rolando McClain's future in Dallas, man? What's what's his future in Dallas? Let me go. Let me know what you guys think. This is your boy, the Real McCoy Cowboys Nation, man. How about them Cowboys, man? I'm out. Peace.